Hello everyone and welcome back to the second part of the FOS guide and in today's guide we're going to be showing you how to update your FOS because I assume that you will have to update once in a while and also how to update the miners if there's a new miner coming out you can easily update the miners on FOS with a simple command. So also what I'm going to be talking about here is how to install TeamViewer because actually I installed it so I could record the screen for a little bit more seconds guiding over here but there's also one more thing that you can have problems with so as you can see we currently have eight GPUs that are recognized on FOS but for example if you have six or eight GPUs as well on your mining rig and you only see one or two showing up you probably have a gaming motherboard as this one so if you have a gaming motherboard and it's not recognizing all your GPUs, you will have to watch this video on how to turn a gaming BIOS into a mining rig BIOS on the motherboard. Because that is really important for your motherboard so it's able to control and find your GPUs. So let's get on to installing TeamViewer first and then updating FOS and its miners. So of course, I think you will probably have a keyboard and a mouse on your mining rig. And what you need to do is just type TeamViewer and press enter. It will start up TeamViewer. It will take 30 seconds to a minute. It really depends on what CPU and amount of RAM you put into this mining rig, but it will take a while to launch. So there's also one really good tip for you guys. So if you want to have TeamViewer to launch on startup every single time there is a settings tab where you can do that and you can also set the same password every single time so you can just log on to the mining rig restart it and just reconnect with team viewer it's really simple and straightforward but this is actually not how you should control this mining rig there's many ways you could but that's just for recording for example or if you're really not into everything like putty and stuff you could really use TeamViewer if you want to. Okay, so the following step is to open a new terminal and then you will need to write down the following. So I will put it in the link in the description below because this will be pretty easy for you guys to follow it up the exact way you need to type it because maybe if I say something wrong, it's gonna like not work at all and that would be very sad. So make sure to read the comments below or description below, I mean, and type the same as over there. After you typed it in, just press enter once again and it will start updating. So make sure not to break connection, turn off your mining rig or anything while it's updating because this will cause some problems. Because if you do that, you will have to replace the sudo FOS update with sudo FOS re-update. And make sure it's just completed before you're gonna do anything with your mining rig but after that, it will reboot your mining rig once again and it will start mining on the FOS address once again. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to the next step where you will have to accept the FOS license agreement. So what you need to do is press Y to accept the FOS license agreement and press enter once again. So after that, you actually have installed the new 1.3.1 of FOS version. In the future, this will probably be another version for you, but it's still the same. So what are we going to do next is install the FOS Miner update. And it's actually almost the same as installing your FOS update, but this time it is for the miners only. So what I recommend you is just to update all miners at once with this simple command. I will also link in the description below for you. So what do you do is just type it in just the same way and press enter once again. And after that, reboot your mining rig to fully install all the updates necessary for getting started on mining.
Okay, so now that our FOS is up to date, according with the miners, we can continue on to step three. In the guide number three, we're going to be showing you how to remotely configure your FOS mining rig. And this is going to be one of the most easy ways in my eyes, because there's a lot of people that don't really know too much about computers. So I know there's ways like putty and stuff to control your mining rig, but I'm going to make it really simple here because that is probably the most easy way to explain people how this actually works so stay tuned to the FOS guides so make sure to stay subscribed onto the YouTube channel and leave a link below if this actually worked for you or if you're willing to be very kind to me see you guys in the next one